Hello everyone, I'm Judy Bailey, Vice Moderator of the Board of Directors and Ex Officio Chair of the Nominating Committee. And I'm here today to tell you about the Nominating Committee. The Nominating Committee is designated by the Rocky Mountain Conference Board as the committee charged with recruiting and recommending a slate of candidates for approval by the delegates at the annual meeting of the Rocky Mountain Conference. The Nominating Committee, as defined by the RMC bylaws, consists of six members elected at the annual meeting to serve for a period of two years, and those terms are renewable once. Each association is represented on the committee, and each association submits its own nominee. The vice moderator of the RMC Board of Directors serves as chair and is an ex officio member. This committee begins to meet in February or March of each calendar year, reviews the open positions, and develops a plan for advertising and recruitment. The committee strives to find a balance of clergy and lay, to identify a diverse group of nominees who bring sincere commitment to the work of the Rocky Mountain Conference, but also bring skill and knowledge to the position they seek, and reflect the diversity of identities and perspectives that is the society as a whole and the conference in particular. The terms are staggered so that there is a mixture of experienced members and new perspectives. On your nominating report sheets, you will see all the positions that make up the elected positions of conference work. The positions are being presented for nomination this year are highlighted. The nominating committee recruits the RMC Board of Directors, which consists of the officers, the five association representatives, the personnel chair, and the initiative coordinators. The officers of the board are the moderator, who serves a one-year term, and that's renewable once. The vice moderator, who again serves a one-year term, renewable once. And just to note, the conference uses a succession model whereby the vice moderator moves into the moderator role when the moderator turn is, turn is up, all pending, of course, approval of the, board, of the delegates. And the third officer is the treasurer, who serves a two-year term, renewable once. Another group on the board of directors, the association representatives, who serve a three-year term that, that is non-renewable, each of the five association works in conjunction with the nominating committee and submits its own nominee. Association terms are staggered. A third group of the board is the initiative coordinators. The bylaws allow the creation of new positions on the board, and last year two initiative coordinator positions were added. These are board of director positions to fulfill a specific purpose for board work. The current board initiative coordinators are the funding coordinator and the new ministry development coordinator. These are two-year terms and they are not renewable. The personnel committee chair is also a board position and is recruited by the board for a two-year term, renewable once. The personnel committee chair serves obviously as chair of the personnel committee. In addition to the board of directors, the nominating committee works to recruit committee positions. One committee of the board is the personnel committee, and as noted before, the chair is on the board of directors. The chair is recruited by the nominating committee, as are the committee members. The committee consists of no fewer than five, nor more than eight members. The terms are staggered. The members may come from any association, though geographic representation is valued and may be either clergy or lay, but a balance is preferred. The finance committee is the second board committee. The nominating committee recruits and puts forth the committee members for approval. The committee consists of no fewer than five nor more than eight members, and the terms are staggered. The members may come from any association, though again, geographic representation is valued, and the members may be either clergy or lay, but a balance is preferred. The treasurer of the conference serves as the ex officio chair of this committee. And of course, the nominating committee is the third board committee, and uh, that was explained before. The RMC Endowment Board of Trustees, in conjunction with the nominating committee, puts forth the nominees for this committee. These committee members are three-year terms, and they're renewable once. In addition to the committee and endowment board, the nominating committee also works to obtain general senate delegates. Representatives of the nominating committee will be hosting a session during the annual celebration. Meanwhile, stay well, stay safe, and I hope to see you at one, one or more of the many celebration activities. Hello.